Hello, my name is John Amos. I am an English teacher intern. Um, my experience is I started my educational career um, as substitute teacher in Michigan. Um, I didn't enjoy substituting in a traditional classroom, uh, so I pursued other careers for a while. Um, moved to California and uh, took a job as a tutor at a school uh, that I really liked. It's a um, independent study program, uh, Charter High School, um, and enjoyed the tutoring so much that I decided to go for my credential in English. Um, this will be my third semester as an intern. Um, and so far my experience has been great. Uh, as far as teaching English uh, learners, there's been quite a bit of experience. When I was first um, given my internship, there was a mix-up and I was given a classroom uh, as an EL teacher. Um, and it took about two weeks of, of EL training for the district to communicate with the credential program um, to determine that that was not an appropriate placement for an intern English teacher. So then I switched to uh, a traditional English curriculum. But in the, those two weeks, I learned a lot about uh, the English language learner curriculum at my school and how to support them. Um, and since then, I many of my students, the majority of my students are reclassified English learners. Um, so there still are supports given and scaffolding and differentiation. Um, and I must say that I enjoy it a lot. Um, my experience uh, learning a second language uh, has proven how difficult it is to learn a second language. Um, where I grew up, uh, there isn't one dominant second language. So students in high school take a handful of, of different languages. I chose German. It did not stick even after two years. Then in university, I took two more years of Spanish. Um, I tried very hard to become conversational in it, and I did pick up enough to get by, but not enough that when I call the parents of many of my students who are Spanish speakers, that they don't hang up on me after a few sentences. So I'm still trying to learn conversational Spanish, but I understand how difficult it can be for many of my students to have to interact in this academic language in their second language.